We know when they flow. Like we understand that they flow. We don't capitalize off their flawness though because we'll capitalize off real. Jay Prince Jr.'s son has responded to the ongoing issue between Jay Prince, Shakur Stevenson, and long term Harlem friends Cameron and Mace. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Olize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, if you don't know the backstory, Shakur Stevenson caught a lot of flack for his perceived boring boxing performances. Loads of boxing commentators were speaking on it. But when Cam and May spoke about it on their show, It Is What It Is, Shakur got kind of angry. And the two Harlem natives and Stevenson went back and forth on social media, with Shakur Stevenson even inviting them to a street fight, where Cam even responded saying he would slap Stevenson silly. Now where it took a turn was when Jay Prince got involved who manages Shakur Stevenson. He came out of a post, directed all the haters coming at his fighter, and then name-checked Mason Cam saying he handles all Shakur Stevenson's business inside and outside the ring in particular now for most people back in the day this might have scared them big bad boogeyman jay prince coming at them saying that he will handle them in the street is a bit of a threat but this is cam and mace they came back on their show and responded directly to the houston mogul and when you're dealing with older people they're the last to know that things have changed we're not your look like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We're not your little. It's like for real, all that big homie stuff. That's for little. Little have big homies. We're not little, so we don't even respect big homies. I know Killer doesn't, and for me, I never respected the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Clowning Jay Prince for acting all gangster at sixty years old. Man, that's deep. The man's only 59. But like I said, Jay Prince's son, Jay Prince Jr., has chimed in and he has something to say. Check it out. You be me up, right? Because you try to glorify bull. Like you try to glorify South. You try to glorify that ain't that. It's flaw. We know when they flow when we deal with them in the streets. We know when they flow. Like we understand that they flow. We don't capitalize off their flowness though because we'll capitalize off real. We ain't gonna capitalize off no being flow weak as hell. We understand what a weak as hell. Then he a street, call itself a street. He could be a street, but he's still weak as hell. We don't capitalize and try to glorify this shit. No. We gonna sit and have conversations about as strong as us we gonna have conversations about this weak as hell yeah fam i ain't gonna lie i couldn't understand much of what he just said and that's the same thing that's been echoed by a lot of people making videos about his response i don't know if he was high i don't know if it's just the accent but it wasn't coherent i will say that for sure and even in the comments of his video, apparently people that went to private school with him were wondering why is he talking like that when they went to private school with them. And they don't talk like that. So whether this guy Jay Prince Jr. is trying to act tough, speaking about how they're not glorifying being gangster and all that stuff, that's about the only thing I could understand. There's something about his eyes that didn't seem quite right to me. And definitely something about the way he was pronouncing words sounded like he wasn't too sober minded. But a lot of people are clowning him because obviously it went viral, his response. It was probably better that he just stay quiet. It hasn't helped the situation, although it hasn't made it worse, but it's made him look a bit funny. I want to know what you think about Jay Prince Jr.'s response to the whole issue between Jay Prince Sr., Cam and Mace, and Shakur Stevenson. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.